Hi friends, I told you I'll be back with some more information regarding numerology. Yesterday or in my last videos, I was talking about what the date says and what the month says and what the year says. Fine. Now, today I am going to bring a one more dimension in numerology. That is, just like astrology has a birth chart based on the time of birth, place of birth and date of birth. Here, in numerology also, we have got a chart. This chart consists of three rows and three columns. Because we have only nine numbers, this chart also will hold nine numbers. The first row will have one, three, nine. The second row will have five, six, seven. The third row will have two, four and eight. You can ask me, what is this one, three, nine, five, six, seven and two, four, eight. I will tell you. The first row 139 is called as the spiritual plane means those numbers available in a date of birth 139 those people will have spiritual mentality or spirituality life now the second one 567 this row is called as materialistic luxuries finance this is how we call the second row the third row which consists of two four and eight this is called as labor hard work how the work has to be done or how the man or the native will perform either through his hard work mental hard work or vocal hard work or manual hard work. There are these types of things in that birth chart or we can see in a numerological birth chart certain things. Of course, it is the general way of telling things how a person is going to live. Let me explain to you about this 139, the spiritual plane. Yes, in the first row, we have got one three, nine. That is called as a spiritual plane. One. One is deity, God. So, prayers, pujas, ceremonies, all these things. People who do all this performance, they will have that one in their date of birth. Three. Three pertains only to the social work. Social work for others. Non-profitable organizations or social work for uh, our old age homes, social work for child orphanages. All these social works pertains or belongs to three. Then the next one, nine in the first row. That nine tells about holy waters traveling, pilgrimage tours, holy waters bath. All these things are told by the number nine. Now we will come to the next clip. The next plane which has 5, I am sorry, the next row which has 5, 6 and 7. Here we have got 5 which means, of course, all the 3 combined together, 5, 6 and 7, they speak about materialistic things, luxurious things, materialistic life. When we bifurcate it, when we individually look at it, the 5 tells about the cash positions, or the cash holdings of by the person. The six tells about the luxurious items the person is going to enjoy in his life. The seven tells about the ancestral property or servants or having a royal life. Okay. Now the last row. The last row consists of two, four and eight. Two. 
Ah, this last row is also called as hard work or manual labor. Two, yes, it is hard work. Hard work, your profession or the person's profession will be through traveling because two is a traveling number and using the mind because two is nothing but mind. So, the profession of a person who has this number in that row will be earning or will have his earnings through his traveling and through selling out his mind. The next number is four, talkative, vocabulary, orator. These people who have four in the date of birth, they will be earning through their speeches, through their talks. And the last one, eight, that tells about manual labor, physical manual labor. These purple people who have eight in the last row, those people will work hard in life, either in industries or on missionaries. This is how we bring up a birth, numerological birth chart. Just like your astrological chart with 12 planets, with the nine planets and 12 rasis, here because we have got only nine numbers, we deal these with these nine numbers in three different rows, calling them with different names. Right. How can you know whether a person is going to live a materialistic life or a spiritual life or a hard working life? Yes. For that also, the same chart will help us. Right now, I gave you only the presentation of chart. That chart and those numbers are fixed in that place. But in a person's date of birth, you have got only a very few numbers. Not all the numbers are available in a date of birth. So in this constant, as soon as a person comes to us, we write down on a piece of paper his date of birth and we prepare three rows of three columns and according to the numbers available on in the date of birth we select the numbers and we put in their own placements for example you watch the slide I am putting a slide here also for you to watch regarding the the numbers, where it has to be placed, if you find a date of birth. So, for example, a date of birth is 22-9-1960. Now, the first is date, 22. So, in the last column, the first place, you have got two there. But in the date of birth, you have got two twos, 22, two twos. So, you write two there in the blank chart, in the blank chart of three columns and three rows. The last position is given for two. So, you take that date, 22, and put two there, and in bracket, you will put two, because two, two numbers are available there. Next comes the month, September 9. Where is 9 has to be placed? 9 has to be placed in the right hand corner of the top row. So you place 9 there because it is September. Next comes the year 1960. When it is 1960, you have got 1. Where in the box you will put 1? Left hand corner on the top. That is the placement of 1. So your 1 goes there and 9 again goes to the left hand corner in the first row because already you have written a 9 because of the month September and one more 9 is there in the year you mark 2 in brackets so in a date of birth you have found 2 nines. next comes 6 in 1960 the year I am talking about 6 has to be placed in the middle row in the middle column. So that 6 is only 1. You put 6 there and after that 6 in the year of birth there is a 0. It is 1960 there is a 0. 
So in the brackets, you put zero there. Why I am asking you to put zero there? Because zero gives the value 10 times more than the original number. So just writing six is nothing. If at all you write six and a zero besides it, it is 60 times, 10 times more. So that is the reason I have asked you to put in the middle box six in brackets zero. Now you see the chart. On the top row, you will have in the first box one, second box is empty, third box is nine and two in brackets. So that is the spiritual plane. And this person who has this date of birth will be having a lot of spirituality or inclination towards spirituality. One indicates about God as I told you earlier. Number one which says Deity God. So this person will be doing prayers, pujas more. And there is no three there. We have got nine in the last box. That nine is also two there. Two parts of nine are there. I mean two nines are there. So when there are two nines, this person will visit to holy places or will take holy baths a lot. Most of the times you'll be traveling to holy places or places there where you can find holy baths. So this is the meaning of that spiritual box. Now let's come to the next box, next column, which has only six and the other two boxes, right and left, are empty. Because six is having a zero and six is nothing but all luxurious things. We don't have five, no cash. We don't have seven, no property. But this gentleman will have a lot of money. I'm sorry, a lot of luxurious things because only 6 is there and 6 is having a 0 in the bracket so 60 times so you will have more number of luxurious items wherever he lives wherever he goes he will be enjoying the luxurious things it may be dresses it may be shoes it may be his watches he will be having the latest gadgets like that now let's come to the last row the last row consists of 2, 4, 8 as I told you earlier. Now in this date of birth, you have got only 2, that is double 2. So you have put 2 in the last box, last row and the first box and in bracket you have put 2. So there are 2 twos. So this gentleman who has this date of birth will have earnings through running his mind, through traveling. So for his profession he has to travel a lot or for his earnings he has to travel a lot or for his earnings he has to use his intuition or brains. This is what a date of birth when put into the numerological birth chart tells us. I think today I am going to stop it here. Again, I will be back with the quality of significations of numbers. Right now, I am giving you the creamy part. Just like a cook shows you all the materials, the rice, vegetables, spices, everything. When you look at those things individually, it will not make much taste or it will not make you, what you call it, get interested in. But when you get to know those things and when the dish is prepared, that will be very beautiful to eat. So, tomorrow we are going to start the preparation of the dish. I mean to say, the numerology. I will give you significations of numbers, significations of months. This is one part. And these significations will carry or will help you in traveling a long way to reach to your destiny with complete knowledge of numerology. Until then, bye. See you.